So, hi, my name is Sami Mala, Product Manager for New Nokia N8. So, let's have a view on the new phone now. So, it all starts with the new design, what we have added here now. Here. It's a seamless, seamless design now, the unibody design. It's a non removable battery now. And the anodized aluminum material there, five different colors. And then the cordial glass now. So, really solid, solid package. It doesn't squeeze, feels good in your hand. Good. Then moving to the UI then. So as we know, now we are talking about the three device for the Symbian 3. So what does it mean in practice? So in practice it means that we have, like given that I put over 250 UX improvements there. So simplifying the usability. That has been the key theme for all the development now. So let's have a view of what does, what does it look like. So here we have like the first home screen. And what we have now done, we have added two more. So all together, we are having three home screens. And these are all personalizable, so you can basically add all of the widgets to whatever you like on all of those home screens. What I have here is basically, this is my social life in the first home screen. I have my top contacts now here. I can easily browse those through. For example, open the contact. I can see the links to the social networks, what they are up to in Facebook or in Twitter. Or I, basically, I can directly open from the home screen and go, no, for example, go to Twitter. Or then I can have all activity view down there. And in the all activity view, we are now able to combine now the Facebook and Twitter only in one view. And that is the key, key thing now for the social, social app world. Good. Go back now to the first home screen. Then, then it's about the customization and, and, and how to personalize the home screen. It's a long press here. First of all, we are able to move the widget as we want. We are able to edit this. We can remove the widget or we can add more widgets there. Scroll through the widget catalog. Select every which uh, we would like to have there. And, or we can have more from Office Store. There's a direct link to Office Store then. Super, super easy way to... Let's put the FM transmitter. Now it's there. We can say it's wallpaper. And that's it. On the second home screen, I'm having my email. I'm having my music. And this is the cool element on the music side. So this is now 60 frames per second. And this is a good example of the power of the N8. So there's a separate graphic, graphics accelerator now taking care of this part here. So really convenient way to handle, the, handle your music. Browse all the albums, select the song and start playing from there. So what we have here is the visual multitasker now. As you can see, I have like plenty of nine applications there open. I can easily browse those all through. And as you can see, we're in the music player and exactly on the same place where we left, we can go from there. So that's really, really convenient. And I'm moving back now to the, this is the second home screen. We have the email now here. We're able to support their uh, HTML emails. So we have the pictures there all here. And then I'll cancel now. We are have the network limitations now here. So just want to highlight the possibility to add like up to 10 different email boxes here. So I can easily change it here, mail for exchange, my OB email. Really convenient way. And then on the third home screen, we are having the web TV widget. So basically we are able to have like your global web TV or then local TV content there. For example, here I'm having the Ule and I, which we are having film. And so I'm able to watch Ule, Ule programs here, for example, in the UK. Good. So basically this was like the, the thing about the uh, UI and, and, and all the home screens, what we have. So three home screens, the personalization elements there. And, and we can go a bit deeper again in the menu level. So I can show you the photos now. There was the renewed menu, menu level. And, and I have my pictures here. I can easily scroll those again. So really responsive display here. So this capacitive display follows my finger. It's fast. Exactly. Really 
speedy one there. And we have the long press functionality. So no need to go to the options, just long press and you get the options so you can like send the image or start. So we can easily scroll and flick between images there. And then we can do the bean zooming now. And then we can easily pan on all of the images there. Very responsive. Exactly, exactly. That's the thing. I'll be on the camera now. And this is nothing about the camera, what we are having in it. So it's a super camera. This is like what everybody knows, it's about the 12 megapixels, but that's not the story. It's about the sensor size, what we are having in there. So it's like 30% bigger than in the standard digital pocket cameras. So what does it mean in practice? So we are able to basically capture more light, so the pixels are bigger there. Basically mean then in the low light condition, in the daylight, so it doesn't matter where you are. And then we are having there also the Xenon Flash and top of that the card size optics. So the whole combination, so you are able to capture amazing pictures. That was for the imaging part. Adding that video, so we are able to shoot the high definition videos with this. So 720p is the resolution there. High definition videos and we are having this kind of stereo, stereo audio possibility as well. So we have two microphones, so basically from the front and also in the, in the back. So we have the stereo, stereo thing there. But then we're also having the Dolby Digital Plus. So here we are having, for example, a movie, movie clip or trailer, as we are having now preloaded here. So it's the high definition video. And, and there we are having also the Dolby Digital Plus. So we are having the possibility to add the HDMI cable in the device. So we were watching the images there. Okay, I can show those in my N8 or I can plug it's near my cable and for example at home, show to all my family that what great picture I took here in Nokia World. And the same thing, basically you can do. So everything coming in, coming there super quality. So no loss there, so because it's the high definition now. And then let's take the videos now. Check if we are having those open already. Did we have videos? Do we need to go to the menu? Yes, we have the videos here. So, for example, we can play a clip from uh, Singapore. You can just imagine and, uh, and uh, see the quality there. I have one more thing to show you. Sure. So when we are shooting, the shooting the high definition videos and the images, the file size, those are getting pretty big. Okay, how to how to enlarge and, and, and add more, more memory in the device? So we are having the USB on the go possibility here, meaning that we are able to add, for example, in this case, we are having the external hard drive here. And just check the <laughs> amount of memory what we are now having here. So we have the phone memory, okay, that's megabytes, then move it to the gigabytes. So we are having the mass memory, so this comes with the 16 gigabyte mass memory. We are having the micro SD there, so it's 32 gigabytes. And then on top of that, this kind of 250 gigabyte external hard drive. So no problems for saving and transferring the images. Just select here. Uh, and, and with the long press, you can copy or move to some other folder. Thank you. So, Sami Mala, okay, and Ed Brodman. Thanks a lot. Thank you.